First, we need to make sure we have a code cell in our notebook. We can use the insert uh, in the menu, or we can use the plus sign to insert new cells. Remember that by default, any new cells that are added are going to be code cells. Um, also remember that when you run a cell uh, by holding down shift and then enter, it will automatically create a new cell if the cell that we are running is, is the last cell in the notebook. So we already have a, a code cell, so I don't have to add a new one. So I'm going to click on the code cell to select it uh, in the gray area, right, uh, to turn it green for editing. And then we're going to type in the following uh, code. Now when you type in code, you want to type it in exactly um, because uh, spacing and, and characters matter. So we're going to type in a hashtag. Uh, and then this is a code cell, and this is a line of documentation in my code. Enter. Another hashtag. If I want to add some descriptive text uh, into my code, I need to put the uh, quote hashtag uh, symbol in front enter hashtag Python ignores anything typed after the quote hashtag now you notice that this text is all italicized and in green and this is called documentation and is a very important part of coding. You need to document your code, uh, any code that you write, so that you or other people can understand it later. Um, if you run this cell now, there will be no output from the code cell. Um, so that's because this is documentation and uh, Python, as this last line says, ignores anything after the hashtag. So we're going to open this back up and then add another line of code print um, quote and notice how it turned red I am coding now exclamation point um, and now run the cell uh, control enter and you'll notice it should look something like this here right underneath the code cell you have the words I am coding now um, this is output, and the output of a code cell will always appear underneath the code cell. If you get an error message, so for example, if I take what I coded before, and I leave off the second quotes, and I run this cell, a cell now, I get a syntax error. So whenever you get an error, you need to kind of scroll through what it outputs. Um, this is called a syntax error because I type something in wrong. If you forget quotes or parentheses or you misspell a word, you'll likely get a syntax error and you'll notice this little bitty arrow indicates where the mistake is. So if you see a syntax error, that means you type something in wrong and then look for this little arrow to point out where you made your mistake. Um, it's really important that you look through any errors that are thrown at you uh, so that you can fix your code. Now, you can also add documentation in line with code, but it has to be after, right? So I can say uh, in a new cell uh, code, um, you can also put documentation after a line of code. And so then I can say print, and I'll use single quote this time, uh, because you can use either double quotes or single quotes when you uh, print things in Python. There is a documentation note after this string. Uh, whoopsie. And then hashtag C documentation. And then run this. And then this documentation doesn't show up. Only the thing that was in red shows up. Now you'll notice that there are numbers that appear in those brackets uh, to the left of the cell. And if you were to run a cell again, 
you'll notice that the line, uh, that number, increased by one. And this sort of like indexing allows you to keep track of what cells have been run and in which order. Um, if you see an asterisk in this bracket, that means the cell is running, it's waiting to run, or it's trying really hard to run. Um, if the asterisk does not change into a number and you're not um, you know, running a, a massive code job, right? Um, it could mean that uh, something is stuck, and in that case, or frozen. So you'll need to uh, interrupt the kernel if that's the case. Now, if you're uh, running a, a box of code that's going through a lot of data, it might take a while, and the asterisk will indicate that it's thinking. Um, but if you suspect it's stuck, you'll need to restart the kernel by going either up to interrupt the kernel with this and restart that, or use the kernel uh, menu item.